from Gritania. Welcome to Limsa Lamensa, my lord. Admiral Blofsven waits your arrival. Like Gridania and Envoy? Welcome to Limsa Lamensa. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. It'll take you to a Bulwark Hall. Once there, pray speak with Zathano. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. And now we're done, right? So I gotta take the lift. Bulwark. Bulwark. Uh, greetings, sir. Uh, welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on this missive you carry. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. My, my apologies. We, we can't afford to be complacent. You understand. Uh, please step this way. Enter. I did not expect the Gridanian envoy to be an adventurer. It speaks highly of your character that the Elder Seedseer would choose an outsider to represent her nation's interests. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from the Black Shrap? Okay, a little too soon. Hmm. A memorial service to honor the fallen. The seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Garlean Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp, it was in an answer to imperial threat that city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlemald was not content to wage it all on a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans. The Meteor. Legatus Nervandanus, Hell's Taken, intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the Lesser Moon Dalamud from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Despite to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Cartano Flats where we met the 7th Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartano, and I have seen full many. But though we gave no quarter, spared no one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalamud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. Twas the elder primal Bahamut, bent on making an eighth hell out of Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame. While our own armies fared little better, t'was as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even if I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and still smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Where Archon Louis Soir still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not. 
and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. For while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, the beastmen call forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our foes will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eosia. The Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Damn it all. We need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea, and this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. I, Kanasena, has the right of it. I accept her proposal. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Elder Seed Seer receives my reply. You travel next to Uldar, yes? Pray give my regards to General Ralvan. Oh, and tell him the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest, and one in poor taste. But I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Meteor. May the Navigator guide you on your journey. Oh, immediately kicked out. So I go back to the airship landing? Yep. Yeah. Uh, airship landing? Right here? Oh. Hello, Great Fa. Airship landing, please. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. Oh, greetings, sir. This is the counter of the passengers traveling to Ulda. A pleasure to serve you again, sir. Are you ready to board the airship to Ulda? Come on. And we're off. Yes. Have any of you done all of the stories associated with the different grand companies? Which one has like the best writing associated with it? And then I have to decide, do I want that one for this one or do I want that one for Realm Revoiced? Probably Realm Revoiced. Doesn't really matter. I'll save Twin Adders for... If, if they put it in New Game Plus, my main character is Twin Adders. Here we go. Ah! You must be the envoy from Gritania! Welcome to Ulda, sir. The Flame General awaits your arrival. When I played, when I first came through on PS3, those load screens to get to the other side of a gate were so wildly infuriating. Welcome to Uldar, sir. We have been expecting you. Flame General Raubon will receive you in the fragrance chamber. Please take the lift down to the hosting strip and speak with Bartholomew at the Royal Promenade. Hosting strips, right? It's this side that's screwed up. It's the side that he. Better? A little better. 
The fragrant chamber is what you call your bathroom? Oh, well. I don't think we're going to their bathroom, but maybe. Uh, a tuning. First one. First of many. Now, I did not get the Limsa Aetherite while I was there, which is a mistake. So, now I'll have to take an airship back to Limsa, right? Because I just came and did what the MSQ told me to do, and it didn't tell me to go, go there. The Gradanian Envoy, I presume. Would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the missive you bear, sir? My thanks. Ah, yes. The Seal of the Elder Seed Seer. Please proceed. Ah, a guest from Gradania. I thought I smelled leaf mold. I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Kane says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Ixal. Welcome to the Sultanate of Ulda. I am Rauban al-Din, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. Gartano. I... I remember bloody Gartano. Do you know what happened that day, adventurer? When we took the field against the Garleans? So my counterparts have educated you. Mm. Oh, trust Melvim to make light of our wolf problem. Woman always did have a black sense of humor. Wolves are bloodthirsty beasts upon which one cannot turn one's back. Tis only a matter of time before they bite. So it was with the Garleans fifty years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use Magitek than they began seizing territory from their neighbors. Led by then Legatus Solus Zos Galvus, they swiftly brought the other nations of Ilsabad to heal, and so the Legatus became an emperor, and his republic an empire. An empire which set its sights upon Eorzea. But the conquering of the of emperor is now an old man of fourscore winters. His health is failing, and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Garlands have been quiet as of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion is still entrenched within our borders, and their commander, Legatus Gaius van Belsar, has long harbored ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I fear we would fall like so many others before us. And not only Ulda, but Gridania and Limsa Lominsa as well. For the calamity brought a lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up. We barely have the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided, adventurer, an alliance in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The Garleans stir, and the Admiral would not let it go unnoticed. All other concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the beast tribes with their bloody primums. We must stand united once more. That much is clear. If we're to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Kane will have her memorial. We will honor the memory of the fallen, and we will remind the people that their brothers and sisters fought and died for.
Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I will speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Elder Seed Seer will have my reply anon. My thanks to you, adventurer. Okay. Airship's now accessible. Ah, my lord, boy. I trust your stay in the Sultanate has been pleasant. Now, if you do not mind my asking, do you perchance have plans to visit Lemsilamensa in the near future? If so, I have information that may be of interest to you. I once accompanied the Flame General on an official visit to the seaside city-state, during which time I became acquainted with Mbaderon, the proprietor of the Downing Witch. Well... The man sent word just now that he has a charm for a capable adventurer. I can think of none with better credentials than you. Bateron would doubtless be pleased if you were to offer him your services. Cool. Now, I do want to attune first to um, at least the main aether right here. It feels reckless to not attune to the main one. I don't know why I expected a load screen right there. Why was there not a load screen there? Maybe there's not a load screen there. Did there not used to be a load screen at those stairs? That was unbelievably smooth. Okay. Okay. We'll find out. I think I could have taken the elevator all the way down to the Ruby Exchange, but this is fine. I'm gaining a lot of etherites. It, you know, while I'm at it, gotta lick them all. Uh, oh. You are not the place I thought you were. That's Central Thanalan. Thanalan, Alan, Alan. I need to go up to this way. Okay, we're getting a lot of them. At some point, I gotta get them all. Come on. Now, the goal is to get to the level 24 MSQ today, if possible. Um, I'm already level 21. The problem is my MSQ is not level 21. My MSQ is um, 15. Uh, so I am wildly out-leveling MSQ. So I'll hit 50 long before the end of 2.0, at which point I would go pick up... I don't know where Red Mage starts, but I think I'd love to pick up Red Mage. I have White Mage and Red Mage. Um, that keeps me from getting stuck trying to level something that I don't want to level. Alright. Um, grab this one. Red Mage starts in Uldah. Perfect. As long as it's the city I have access to. Have I played through the rogue story? Um, I did play through the rogue story. Not all of Ninja yet. Um, but yeah, I started the rogue story. And then I've done Arcanist and uh, Marauder to Warrior. I've done some of the stories. Thaumaturge to Black Mage. I've done some over the years. Um, I'm still missing quite a few. And like, I think post Endwalker replaying it all just to have it more fresh in my mind and um, view it from like a, the story is complete standpoint. So I'd like to finish MSQ and then do a lot of that. I'll do Conjure as we go. Just cause that's where I'm at. So. But when I got in the game, I just wanted to get in the game. Like, there was PS3 back then. Load screens between zones were already a pain. I had never played an MMO where the story was, like, so heavily invested in by the devs. It was always like, yeah, I mean, we need to have a story. But, like, this is mostly about getting a bunch of people together to do group gameplay. And so, like, skipping was a really natural thing. And I 
I, I enjoyed the game and resented it none. So, like, I think people who enjoy the story don't understand how they can't picture enjoying it and removing that element because that element is so inspirational to them. But if you have never done story, like, there's a lot of great things in this game. Um, don't I have to hit Stormblood? I don't think so. I think it's just level 50. Just like you... Yeah, I don't think so. But we'll... I mean, we'll find out. Okay, so I'm heading to Limpsa Mensa. And I got my Aetherite. And this will be a chance to go there. Um, and hopefully that'll allow me to keep them both ahead of the story. So hopefully when I... By the time I hit Cap, they'll both be maxed. Um. Alright. And then I'll have a DPS and a healer, and I can pick up, like, maybe Gunbreaker a little later and try to manage three. It just depends on how much of this I can get done before Road to 80 falls off. Alright. Limps and Laments, please. 120 gil? How dare you? Alright. How dare you? I feel robbed. Honestly. It's a lot cheaper than the teleport, if I remember correctly. It was an old school ARR gill saving trick. It was to take the airships instead of the Aetherites. Uh, drowning Wench. Now, before I talk to Baderon, I do want to go grab the Aetherite just so I don't forget. Because forgetting again, forgetting once was really no big deal because I was already gone on my way back here and that happens. Um, so I actually need to go down one more floor and go to um, Bulwark Hall and out, I think. Um, I used to take the Chocobo Porters everywhere. Like, when it was Prey Return, I'd go to Horizon and take the Chocobo Porter. And then go, like, get a drink or whatever. Um, so Chocobo Porters were something I really did use in ARR. They were really handy. And you never flagged in combat, and you could be totally AFK. Alright. And they always drop you off somewhere safe. So, like, it's, it's even better than, like, auto-running on a mount. You never get screwed by them. It's great. Chocobo Porters were always great. I don't think I've used one in years. Um, alright. Drowning Wench. Oh, you can jump off early? I don't think I've done that. I'm gonna keep voicing everything. Warn people before they come in here and have their hopes and dreams ruined by my voicing. Welcome to the Drowning Winch! <laughs> Sit wherever you like, mate. I'll be with you in a... Hey, I'm on Baderon, right? Who's asking? I heard you. I've got a job for Cable Adventure, you say. Well, you're bloody right. Just so you're fairly warned, this ain't no job for the faint of heart. Things liable to get downright bleeding airy. And if you think you're still interested, let me know and I'll fill you in on the other details. Another cowl. God, I hate cowls. God, I hate cowls. You suck, man. And I bet it's better. Oh, you're the worst. Gross. Cover up my beautiful mane. Flip the cowl down, man. Ah, thank you for taking the time to help me out. Now, I'm sure you're busy. I'll cut straight to the point. Word has some suspicious-looking buggers have been sneaking in and out of Sestasha Sigra. And I need a trustworthy sort to head up to the North Outport and find out who they are what they're up to. Don't sound like much, I know. But if it weren't so long as fishback pet pirates paid us an unwelcome visit and folk feeling a bit nervous... You would permit me. Uh, if you would permit me, Master Pateron, I would be should be happy 
to elaborate. Well, if it ain't Chief Yellow Jacket himself, then what do I owe this rare honor, Commodore Reiner? Gonna make sure me patriots are behaving, or I'm just thirsty. Neither. In fact, I was informed that you would request an adventurer to assist in my investigation, and I came to offer what information I could sift from recent reports. Over the course of the past moon, there have been several sightings of an unfamiliar vessel off the coast of Aleport, in the vicinity of the Isles of Umbra. This information came to my attention no more than a few weeks after the squad of my own soldiers had completed a routine patrol of the region, the Sasasha Sagrat included. Their search revealed little, save that a family of corals had taken up residence in the cave. Nothing to concern us, in short. In light of recent developments, however, it would seem wise to search Sestasha again. But, with the Sahagan testing our defenses daily, I'm loath to assign the task to the limited forces at my disposal. Our line is stretched as it is. Thus, I sought the services of a competent adventurer to conduct an investigation in our stead. Any aid you can offer in this matter would be greatly appreciated. Then it is settled. Sestasha is located in Western Lamarcia. For more detailed instructions on how to reach this place, I suggest you consult Velpa. She can be found at the ferry docks on the lower decks. You are the man. Good luck to you, lad. All right. You've never heard it masturbate on? Yeah, he's a dirty dude. Uh, Fisherman's Wharf. I need to go to Lower, Lower Lamansa. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> dirty dude heads up a dirty bar. It's not to like. Um, let's head... I think this way. He doesn't get voiced a lot, but he does get referenced. Like, he's in the seasonal quest for this Christmas, maybe? So, like, he's around and stuff. He just shows up from time to time. Um, a Realm Revoice started in Limsa, so you interact with him a lot. Like, in MSQ. Because you're Limsa-based, right? So, like, all that stuff at the beginning that was uh, Mother Meown, that's all Baderon. It's very different. Everything feels a lot dirtier. A lot grittier. Like you're returning lost property and... You know, like... Their their jokes are about... Is there... Oh, are those drugs? <laughs> no, those aren't drugs. Uh, and so, like, it's it's just... I don't know. So I started all that. Um, it's going to be a long time till a Realm Revoice tackles that. A Realm Revoice will start with class quests. I don't know Queen Mamodi really that well. Um, post Shadowbringers pre Endwalker, I played through all of 2.0, and that's as far as I really made it. So I didn't get into Heaven's Word. I was working on it. Alpha. <laughs> You're here about Commodore Reiner's investigation, and you'll want to board a ferry about for Aleport. Once you arrive in Western Lenosha. Though, you'd best pay a visit to Hall of the Novice before you blunder into Sestasha. The Adventurer's Guild runs the hall, and folk there will prepare you, train you with the skills you need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in the Sagrat. The hall is on the way to Sestasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside, one of their seasoned adventurers will take you in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. Alright. So... To airport, please. 
This fairy's bound for Aleport. You riding with us? Yeah. Oh. Got me an achievement. There's a lot of achievements in this game. I have gotten plenty of crap over the years for being a story skipper. As somebody that's been creating content around this game for five years, and when people are like, I love Heaven's Word, and I'm like, I've never done Heaven's Word. They're like, what? You have to have done Heaven's Word. It was good. Okay, well, I also never played Mass Effect, and like, I've never read a lot of really great books. You know, like, I, I don't know. I just... Haven't. I've lived my life, and I'm missing some of the experiences that other people cherish. The award winning critically acclaimed expansion? I know. It's shocking. It's shocking. Ah! You must be the adventure of whom the Yellow Jacket sent word. I hear you are brave, the depths of Sestasha Sacro. The occupants whose caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tale would have you believe, strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions, and you shall need the training we here at the Hall of the Novice can provide. I strongly suggest you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing your mission. The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him. And you can register the exercises tailored to your particular field of experience. <laughs> when you have mastered the hell that our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more. Report to the Yellow Jacket Scout at the mouth of Sestasha Sacro, and he will furnish you with the details of your duty. 